Hi everybody, it's Judy. Today is Wednesday, April 23rd, 2014, and this is my week 21 post-op VSG. Uh, I did not make a video last week. I was on vacation uh, out of town. Went to the beautiful state of Tennessee for a family reunion and had a marvelous time. Um, let me get to the numbers. Uh, first of all, I did do my measurements. I take my measurements once a month. And um, I don't uh, measure everything. I measure the neck, left bicep, left wrist, bust waist hips, and left thigh. So after doing that this morning, uh, since I wasn't able to do it on week 20, um, I did lose another two inches overall. So um, since day of surgery, I have lost a total of 22 and a half inches. So I'm very pleased about that. I, I like to take my measurements because sometimes I don't see the scale uh, going the way I would like it to go. And I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but uh, so I, I do like to see the inches at least I know I've taken another two inches off of this body uh, since uh, the month of March so um, that's good now let me get to my numbers uh, my date of surgery was November 27 2013 my highest weight which coincided with my uh, pre-op uh, diet I was 251.1. Day of surgery, I was 238.4. Uh, two weeks ago when I weighed in, I weighed in at 207.4. And this morning, I weighed in at 208.8, which is a 1.4 pound gain. And emotionally, that always messes with me because it is feeding that little demon inside me that is telling me I'm going to be a failure. So whenever I see a gain, it, it like just antagonizes me. Um, but after seeing two inches off of the body, then uh, I kind of calm down a little bit and go, you're not going to fail at this. It's okay. Um, like I said, I was out on vacation last week. I uh, went to a family reunion, had a wonderful time. Um, met a lot of people I had never met before, mostly my mother's cousins, which would be my second cousins, some third cousins. Um, but, and I try, I did try to make as healthy a choice as I was given. Mind you, the family reunion, everyone cooked. Um, there was only two kinds of meat available at the reunion. It was pulled pork and fried chicken. And then there was an array, and I mean, buffet doesn't even go, isn't the right word. Uh, an array of uh, green beans, there must have been five different varieties of green beans, five or six different varieties of cream corn, there was mashed potatoes, there was mashed potatoes with cheese, there was twice baked potatoes. There were potato salads, there was coleslaw, there was some sort of bean casseroles, there was uh, greens, um, and then the desserts. Oh my God. Pre if I had been there pre-surgery, I would have gained 20 pounds. I am not kidding you. I would have. I know I would have. But thank God... I have the sleeve that prevents me from gorging. That's the word, gorging. So um, what I ate was I took a little bit of the pulled pork, put a little bit the a little bit of the um, barbecue sauce on it, and a chicken leg, which I took the skin off the chicken leg. So that was my protein. I did. I love green beans and I love southern green beans. I don't know. There's there is a difference on how they make it. So I did have some uh, green beans, a uh, little bit of potato salad. I took the one that had the uh, boiled egg slices in it. So I, I took some of that. Um, for my dessert, I had what they called a peach dumpling, which was good. 
I just don't know how they made it. It was sweet, of course, but um, yeah, I just had the one dumpling, and uh, that was that until I came across this woman who happened to be my second cousin. Um, she was, and I'm not kidding you, she was hoarding this tray container, and she called it black walnut candy. Now, uh, I looked at it, and it looked like, to me, it looked like white chocolate with um, crushed black walnuts in it, and it was cut into squares, like you would see fudge cut into squares. So, and I'm not kidding you, she was ranting and raving about how good this candy was and that nobody else was going to get any. She's going to hide it. And she did. She put it up on, on a top shelf in the kitchen where no one would see it. And then she looked at me, she says, oh, do you want some? You know, I'll let you have one. And I, I was laughing, of course, because she was serious and yet not serious about it. So she, I took a little square and I ate it and it was pure sugar. I couldn't believe it. And, but it was good. She wasn't lying. It was good. But I had some portion of a dumping syndrome, even though I'm not R and Y. Uh, sleevers, I've heard, can have a slight dumping. It's not as severe as R and Y patients. But after about 10 minutes after I ate that, I felt so sick to my stomach. Like I wanted to hurl. Not that it was bad. It was just I, in my mind, I thought to myself, if I hurled, I would feel better. I never did. Never did throw up. And that was the point. It was just sitting there and making me feel miserable. So I sat there and I said, I have got to get up and walk. Try to walk this off because it made me feel horrible. So my sister and I took a walk down the road and then we came back. And I had to sit there for another, I don't know, it took me a good 30 to 40 minutes to finally get over that feeling. But it was a feeling like I wanted to just throw up. That's nauseous. And it, that wasn't the only time it happened while I was on vacation. That was the first time it happened. The second time it happened uh, was at the hotel. We were staying at the Holiday Inn Express and they have a continental breakfast. And my husband travels a lot for work, so he's always ranting and raving about these uh, warm cinnamon buns that they have at the Holiday Inn. So my kids discovered them too. They're in their 20s. They're not little. So they were, they're in their 20s. And they, they discovered them in the hotel at breakfast time. And they're ranting and raving how delicious these cinnamon buns are. So I decided one morning I was going to have one. So I ate my, my egg omelet and my half of a uh, biscuit and gravy. And I proceeded to eat this warm, delicious cinnamon bun, which it was. But I only ate half of it, because that's all the room I could fit in. So I had half of it. Sure enough, not more than 10 minutes later, I get that nauseous feeling again. Like I just want to throw up. And again, it takes about 30, 40, 45 minutes for that feeling to subside, and then I feel better. But I do have a slight dumping symptom. Um, but it, it's funny because it doesn't happen with all sweets. Now granted, I have not been a perfect angel. Um, during Mardi Gras, no, not Mardi Gras, uh, Mardi Gras, I had, uh, we had bought a box of punch keys. And I had one. And it was fine. I did not feel ill. Uh, maybe it was because it's moist and it has the creamy filling inside. Maybe that helps. I don't know. But I did not feel sick on that. And recently at the office, uh, since Easter was Sunday, Happy Easter by the way, uh, 
they gave us like a little packet of jelly beans. There might have been seven or eight jelly beans in this little packet. And I had those uh, this morning, as a matter of fact. And, um, and they're pure sugar, but maybe it's because there wasn't an abundance of it. I didn't get that sick feeling. But yeah, I don't know if everybody feels that way, but uh, I know I did. Uh, and it's, like I said, that's not the first time that's happened. Um, I've had it previously where I had made um, sugar-free cupcakes. There's a sugar-free cupcake mix. I forget who makes it, if it's Duncan Hines or Betty Crocker. I'm not sure, but they make a, a sugar-free cake mix and sugar-free frosting. And uh, I had made cupcakes one day, and I had one, and uh, yeah, that kind of gave me diarrhea, so I don't make those very often. <laughs> not a good feeling. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm pretty bummed that I gained 1.4 pounds. I know that's not really a lot, but... Um, if you knew my history, I'm a slow loser. I try and try, and I'm not the kind of person who gets those two pounds a week, three pounds a week, four pounds a week, like some other people get. And, you know, I'm more like uh, maybe, you know, a 0.8 or a 1.2 pound loss a week. So when I see a gain of 1.4, you know, that's even much harder. I just means I have to work even harder now to lose that and then get back to my starting point to lose more. And I'm coming up on my, another thing that worries me is I'm coming up on my six month surgery next month. And my, what I wanted was by my birthday, which is June 1st, to have be a, to be at my halfway point. And my halfway point is about 57 pounds. Right now, as it stands with this, um, I am at like 42 point something. So let's just round it to 42 pounds. And I need, I want, I would like to be at 57 pound loss. And I figured it out today. And in order to reach that, I would have to lose 2.8 pounds a week for the next, what, five weeks? which isn't, I, I won't say isn't going to happen. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer and say I could never do it. But it will have to take a lot of effort, a lot of energy, a lot of self-discipline, a lot, and a lot of luck to lose 2.8 pounds every week for the next five weeks. So uh, I'm, I'm not calling, I'm not throwing in the towel yet, you know, I still have time, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to reach the goal of being halfway uh, by June 1st. Um, and, you know, a lot of them say that uh, the honeymoon is, it could be over at six months. We don't know. People... You know, sometimes their honeymoon lasts, for VSG, their honeymoon could last nine months to 12 months. But uh, normally it's, you know, the, the six months is when you're going to lose your the most of your weight. So uh, here I am one month away, and I'm not even halfway there yet. So that kind of, um, kind of worries me. You know, and like I said, this all just feeds into that little demon inside of me that's going, ha, ha. You're not going to do it. You're going to fail at this. But I have to push through that. So, um, yeah, I have my trainer tomorrow. Um, I was supposed to go line dancing tonight, but uh, something came up with the friend that I usually go with. So uh, we weren't able to make it tonight. But um, another thing I, I've started doing is going to meditation class, which is on Every other Tuesday is the English version. And then the other, every other Tuesday is Mandarin. 
So a friend of mine and I go to this uh, little Buddhist place that's about two or three miles away from here. And uh, we learn and practice meditation. And it's for an hour and a half. So on Tuesdays, every other Tuesdays, I race home because I don't get home till like 6.30. And I have to go pick up my friend at 7 because the uh, program starts at 7.30 and doesn't end till 9 o'clock at night, which I proceed to take her home and then get home. So I usually don't get home on every other Tuesday till about 9.30 at night. And um, I'm pretty much done for then. So I'm adding meditation into my, uh, into my program. Uh, starting over the summer, I plan on uh, starting belly dancing again. Those are usually held on Thursday nights. So my plan is Mondays will be trainer, Tuesdays will be meditation, Wednesdays line dancing, Thursday belly dancing, Friday, I don't know. Uh, the Saturday and Sunday, the weekends are mine, uh, so around the house, so I can get my housework done, and the laundry, and the grocery shopping, and the running of the errands. So that's pretty much what I have planned. Uh, again, you know, 1.8, I mean 1.4 pounds. I know it's not the end of the world, but still, I don't like it. Anyway, uh, sorry to be a downer, <laughs> but everybody have a great week, and uh, I'll catch you next week. Believe in yourself. Love yourself. Bye-bye.